Hello, good people of YouTube, Mountbatten here, and today we are talking about what is the most and hardest nerfed ship in the game, that is the Graf Zeppelin, the Tier 8 German CV. I said I could make a whole video talking about the nerfs to the Graf Zeppelin, and after playing it a bit in order to record some additional footage for that uh, April Fool's Day video, I decided that I will, just for the fun of it. And the Graf Zeppelin really is an interesting ship. Not only is it, you know, one of the, well, the only German CV built during World War II, almost completed, didn't make it quite yet, but its history in World of Warships is also equally as interesting. So the Graf Zeppelin, we gotta go back like three years to start talking about the Graf Zeppelin. So three years ago, when I had maybe like 15 subscribers on the channel, Graf Zeppelin was introduced into the game. However, the Graf Zeppelin we got was not what was shown off and previewed before. Even CCs were quite upset about it. Uh, a fellow by the name of iChase, I'm sure most of you guys are aware of who he is, outright got kicked from the CC program because of his harsh words toward the Graf Zeppelin and decisions made by Wargaming um, to change her so radically before release when the last preview version of her was so different. Um, so, the Graf Zeppelin before had absolute god-tier striking power. Like, the torpedo squadrons on it were insane in terms of alpha, in terms of, well, you get three of them, and you gotta remember, this is back before the CV rework. This is back when you could just dunk on ships with CVs if you could pull it off correctly. And having three squadrons of torpedo bombers made that pretty easy. Now, the trade-off was its fighters were absolute trash, just straight garbage. You gotta remember, this is back when CVs didn't have regenerative planes. You had what planes you had when you spawned in the match, and that was it. You lost them, you lost them, the game was over with, you couldn't regenerate your planes. So, Graf Zeppelin was quite alluring. I mean, being able to just remove entire ships in one wave with three squadrons of torpedo bombers is quite appealing to the public. And that's the Graf Zeppelin that was shown off. However, the Graf Zeppelin we got was not that one. They pulled her torpedo bombers because they were too strong. And they replaced them with dive bombers, which even back then were very RNG based. And of course, nowhere near as consistent in terms of doing damage as torpedoes. You gotta remember too, this is back when you got hit with torpedoes. You were dead if your damage column was off a cooldown. It didn't matter. This one floods were for, I believe, a minute and a half if you built for damage con. Or if, God help you, you didn't build for damage con. I think it was like two minutes. Which, if you don't have a damage con and you don't have any heals ready to go, you are dead. Did not matter. And they replaced that amazing striking potential with dive bombers. Without adjusting the really crappy fighters. So, needless to say, the outrage was quite extreme. Like I said, iChase was so upset about it and was so vocal with his frustration that Wargaming kicked him from the CC program and then pulled a Graf Zeppelin from the store. They promised they were going to rework the Graf Zeppelin and they were even going to bring in all the current Graf Zeppelin owners and work with them and work together towards a new Graf Zeppelin. It's like, okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, so a lot of time went by, not a lot happened. People who had a Graf Zeppelin were still allowed to bring her into battle, but she really wasn't that good of a CV. However, back then, one characteristic that she still shares with herself today is her secondaries. The secondaries were absolutely monsters back then, and they still are today. She's got basically a cruiser strapped to either side of her ship in terms of secondaries, and the secondaries are extremely accurate. So, that's all she was really good for back then. But then, time just went by, and went by, and went by, and we were thinking, well, when's Graf Zeppelin coming back? When's Graf Zeppelin coming back? If you were interested in the ship, a fair amount of people weren't because she was so trash when she came out. I mean, why would you want to buy the thing? Then the CV rework happened, and then finally, Graf Zeppelin was returned to us. In the new CV rework era, where she has her rocket planes, she has her torpedo bombers, and she has her dive bombers. And when she originally came out, her reception was met with a resounding meh. The dive bombers, if you could get the bombs to connect, they could do a pretty decent amount of damage. 14,000 damage if you get both of those big old bombs to penetrate the citadel of your target. 
her rocket planes weren't all that accurate, but you could get them to work and they hit pretty hard. Her torpedoes are great, she has some of the highest damage torpedoes for a CV, but they are slow. However, if you're targeting things like battleships, no problem, drop three of them and you can take off a nice clean chunk of a battleship's health bar. However, since then, has she gone through several nerfs? So she was of course released with the CV rework. And as those of us who lived through the CV rework remember, boy, were some changes made. Of course, with the changes coming out for the CVs like every other week, CVs went from hand of God to utterly useless and back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. But then some big changes came out. The first big change was aircraft across the board got hit with a speed nerf. And this hurt Graf Zeppelin a lot because her planes were very, 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 very fast. Some of the fastest planes in the game, but they had not the highest amount of hit points. So across the board, planes got a 20% nerf to their speed, which that hurt Graf Zeppelin right there in terms of survivability. Because the old tactic with Graf Zeppelin was boom and zoom. You'd basically just fly in there with your speed boost going, you know, just holding W down, drop your uh, bombs, drop your torpedoes, drop your rockets, and get out of there. Well, the rocket planes were kind of really crappy, and they still are crappy, and they weren't that fast, but you guys get the idea. You'd come in, launch your payload, and leave as fast as you possibly could, while probably only losing a plane or two, something that you could sustain throughout the match. Okay, you can't do that anymore. So they nerfed the speed without compensating the health. That sucks, and only the torpedo bombers have a heal on them, okay? Then they came around some time ago with the German CVs release, and well, AP bombs are doing a little bit too much damage. So across the board, AP bombers were nerfed by about 17%. So Graf Zeppelin's AP bombs, which could do 7,000 damage before if they citadeled the target, can now only do 5,800, which is one of the lowest amounts of damage for its tier, at least, except for like the Enterprise, but the Enterprise's bombs are much smaller, of course. And then after that, they changed the way the planes dove. Before, with the AP dive bombers, this is one of my biggest gripes as far as some of the nerfs went, they would dive like straight down. You you hit the attack button and they it's like they pulled the freaking handbrake in the air and they dove straight down onto their target, which was great because the bombing reticle in Graf Zeppelin is a circle. It's not a elongated oval like some of the other dive bombers are. It's a perfect circle. So you could come in from basically any angle, dive straight down, release the bombs and go about your way. But now instead of diving straight down, well, almost straight down, you now take a much shallower approach, which means that these big old AP bombs now have a pretty high chance of bouncing off of whatever armor you're hitting. And that's really annoying. And then they had the reticle changes for the AP bombs, which tightened it, tightened it up a little bit, which you would think would help the Graf Zeppelin, but it, it didn't really. And I guess this isn't really a buff or a nerf, it just didn't help out any. And I don't know what's up with the AP bombs on the Graf Zeppelin, but these AP bombs, they, they just don't go where you're aiming. I rarely have my AP bombs fall in a perfectly straight line down into the target. It's like they try to beeline for the other end of the ellipse, which they were supposed to change to where that didn't happen anymore, but it still happens with the Graf Zeppelin. And sometimes they even fall outside of the reticle, which I really don't understand how that's how that works, considering they're not supposed to do that. And that's the whole reasoning behind tightening up the reticle on the dive bombers. Then they nerfed the reticle for the rocket planes. They changed it to where it's no longer an elongated oval. They flipped it to its side and squished it a little, a little bit. So now there's more room above and below the center of the reticle, the crosshair, to where you can miss with your rocket planes. And plus they, had cha they changed the way in which the rocket planes attacked. I believe they raised the height a bit, which makes it kind of awkward if you're used to playing old Graf Zeppelin. Okay. And then, finally, the Commander Rework came out, and you can't really build the secondaries to where they used to be. You can get the range out a little bit far further, but you can't take those secondary skills anymore 
to where your secondaries are still laser accurate. They're still very accurate, don't get me wrong. They got, a, I guess, a little itty bitty 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 bit of a buff to range, but in terms of accuracy, they aren't as accurate as before, but they're still pretty darn accurate. And that's the Graf Zeppelin's saving grace. So, all together, you're now left with current Graf Zeppelin, which has the lowest average damage of all of the tier 8 CVs, tech line and premiums included. And it's completely understandable why. It is so hard to get good consistent hits with this thing with two of your three armaments. The saving grace of the Graf Zeppelin, the only reason why you're able to get any decent amount of damage done in Graf Zeppelin is because of her torpedo bombers. They're slow, but they hit like a friggin' truck. You hit all three on a target, you're doing 14,000 damage. Not including torpedo protection. And of course, you could take the, uh, was it the the magnetic arming mechanism or it was called like um, ruthless before where you can ignore like 15% of the targets torpedo protection you can still take that and that will just net you more damage so if you build for it you can still do a pretty fair amount of damage in it just using the torpedo planes but that's relying a lot on one of your three aircraft types and of course with the aircraft being so frail and the aircraft not being quick anymore like they used to be you're taking a lot of damage. You're relying a lot on your speed boost. Graf Zeppelin's one of the only CVs that I play. And I'm, I'm not a great CV player. Like, don't, don't take this as me trying to say that. I'm not a great CV player. I'm really not. But I like the Graf Zeppelin because it's so weird. It's so unique. It's got such an interesting history to it. But it's such a pain to play. But I still like it. Mainly because of the secondaries, too. And you guys know me. I like my secondaries. And it's kind of funny that this... CV has better secondaries than like 80% of the ships in the game. It's pretty funny, but it's also hilarious to see people that don't know the Graf Zeppelin's secondary power. They get a little bit too close to it. I mean, this thing can chew through uh, cruisers, destroyers, even battleships if you build for it. But anyway, relying on those torpedo planes throughout the match, if you're not a very good CV player, like I'm not a very good CV player, You'll find yourself running out of those planes very quickly, so you gotta like conserve your plane, drop a squadron before, just get your one running and leave, and then you gotta fall back onto your dive bombers after that, because they're still better than the rocket planes. They'll at least survive the trip there, and they'll get their their bombs off at least. But what's also painful about the dive bombers is that if you don't get a citadel, you're doing pretty much negligible damage, because even full pins don't do that much damage. You're lucky if you get like a couple thousand damage out of a full pin. And like, you know, superstructure gets in the way. The way the planes dive is very weird now. So you're coming kind of at a shallow angle. You, know, I've thrown so many of these bombs into like just the side armor of the ships that I wasn't even aiming for because of the shallow angle that they come in at now. Whereas before they like, again, they dove like freaking straight down onto the target. And it was a lot easier to at least line up the shots correctly. And even then, you know, you barely hit... You know, you're lucky if you got one Citadel in a Graf Zeppelin. You know, if you get the coveted double Citadel, oh boy, doing 14,000 damage of Citadel damage, that was pretty good. But now you do it and you do just a little over 11,000 damage if you get both uh, bombs to Citadel the target. And again, that's pretty lucky if you do that. That's very lucky today. And then, finally, the rocket planes, which are just atrocious for attacking DD since they changed the reticle and scrunched it up a bit. Um, you know, I've had so many runs where, like, the rockets all go into one quarter of the aiming reticle, and of course it's the quarter where the DD isn't. You know, I get lucky every now and then, and all the rockets will hit the DD and do a pretty decent chunk of damage to it. Or the cruiser, or whatever it is you're going after. Which, that's another thing about Graf Zeppelin. This thing is so geared toward attacking capital ships, which was fine beforehand. But now, with the changes to the AP bombers... It's just, you know, you're relying so much on those torpedo planes. Which, I mean, they're good, they are really good, but that's your only reliable source of damage in this thing. Unless you get into secondary range, which you can do with the Graf Zeppelin quite well. And it's, again, it's pretty hilarious when it does work out. But this poor thing has been released by Wargaming, just thrown down the stairs, and just has had, like, just crap thrown on top of it after every single change that they've done to the poor ship. And I know it's a CV, and like most of y'all hate CVs anyway, but this poor thing, I mean, it's a real ship. It was built just shy of being fully complete. It's very cool to have it in-game, but then, you know, it's it's a pretty crappy ship overall. 
And, you know, I like it. It's a good meme ship, but I do not recommend anybody spend any amount of money getting the ship. Because, because, I, because outside of, like, the 1v1 brawl mode, the ship has no usefulness in the game. Even in randoms, it's not a good ship to have on your team unless you've got a really, 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 really good CV player in it. And even then, they're still handicapped just because of how RNG-based three uh, two two out of the three armaments are on the the ship in terms of aircraft. Um, and you know, it's one of the things where, like with the Cabros back when it was nerfed into the dirt, is it a guy who just thinks the ship is cool and is playing it, or is it some guy with like two thousand battles in it that knows what he's doing that's playing it? And what's really funny is that the Graf Zeppelin has the lowest average damage out of all the tier eight CVs, and my average damage in it is like sixty, I think sixty five, sixty six thousand damage. So I'm actually ranked pretty decent in the Graf Zeppelin, which is pretty funny in terms of my, my PR in it. I think I'm like uh, green in it right now, which is uh, above average. So that that's hilarious that in the worst CV in the game, me, a very crappy CV player, has above average damage in it, which is hilarious. And I think that's mostly because I do kind of just say, screw it, let's go for it at the end of matches with the secondaries in the Graf Zeppelin, which... With those secondaries working, you can put a pretty good hurting on whatever target it is that you're going against. Uh, I, I've featured it several times on the channel, doing just that, taking on battleships and cruisers with it. The Graf Zeppelin is more than capable of taking on battleships, well, low health battleships with its secondaries. And the only real good way to play Graf Zeppelin now is with Luchins on it. He has a lot of skills that help out the Graf Zeppelin a lot. Like the aircraft armament skill, all you gotta do is get 30 hits with any aircraft munitions and you get a boost to your plane regeneration time. You also have the secondary expert skill, where once you get 100 secondary hits, you get a boost to your secondary reload time, which 100 secondary hits in Graf Zeppelin is pretty easy to get. If there's like a, a DD or a cruiser that's gone out to hunt you, and they're in your secondary range, which is 9.4 kilometers now, you can spot it with the aircraft, just let those secondaries chew on them. You have them dead in no time, and it really won't take you that long to get a hundred secondary hits, especially if finding something like a like a cruiser that can tank a couple of those hits. Plus, with the uh, spotting perk that Lucian's gets, where once you spot three ships, you get a free hill. The only CV with the hill, unless you put like Yamamoto on like Hawk and get five kills in it. But yeah, you can heal yourself with the Graf Zeppelin, which is pretty funny and pretty useful too if you can time all that right. But yeah, the ship's an absolute meme ship, and. It's normally a pretty fun time in the Graf Zeppelin when I play it because you can do some pretty stupid things in it like with the secondary build Graf Zeppelin. But yeah, I, I would not recommend you guys buy this ship at all. It's been through too much, ner too many nerfs and they haven't buffed it at all. They haven't even mentioned buffing the ship. That's another thing too. It's, it, it's hilarious how people are freaking out about how Flander, Fl uh, Flander, the new tier 8 French BB, premium French BB, has a disclaimer art saying that balance changes may be applied to the Flanders. And people are like, oh my god, they're, they're, they're gonna nerf a premium. And I just look at Graf Zeppelin like, yeah, they do that. They do that quite a lot. I guess people just don't notice. <laughs> it's not like the ship's been power crept. It, it's just been nerfed through these global nerfs. You know, they, they are indirect nerfs, but so many global nerfs have, have just dumped on the Graf Zeppelin. They haven't buffed her at all. So Wargame, if you're listening, please give Graf Zeppelin something like give her planes a little bit more health or reduce the RNG on her bombs. Or at least at least let the bombs go where I aim so I can feel a bit better about missing. You know, missing by a little bit makes me feel a lot better than just missing by miles because the bombs decide they want to go to the opposite side of the reticle that they're on. Like the, like the bomb that's released on the right plane will just go in a straight beeline for the left side of the aiming reticle. I'm sure you've been seeing some of that on the footage that, on the footage that, that has been playing in the background for you guys. Anyway guys, I just want to talk about the Graf Zeppelin since I did say uh, I could probably talk about it for 30 minutes. Didn't want to do a whole 30 minute video on it because that's a little bit excessive, but just talk about what she's been through and just one of the most interesting ships in the game. But anyway guys, let me know what you think about her in the comments down below and also what other ships have been through a similar treatment. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Monday. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. We are at 23,600 subs, and I cannot thank you guys enough for that. And guys, hope you're having a wonderful Monday. Hope to catch you guys in the next one.